Hey coaches, Sana here, your Commodore. I wanted to give you a quick refresher on iCrew for this 2022 season. At the Boathouse, there is a new PC. It's, it's actually a touch screen, so everything can just be used by using the touch screen. It's pretty slick. And at the Boathouse, the, the PC will usually be signed in with this coach's catch-all credentials. This coach is assigned to every single session, so you can actually, once you sign in via this coach catch-all, you can edit any session. Of course, you'll be wanting to edit in your sessions. When you're at home or on your phone or in your own PC, please use your own credentials. You can also sign in at the Boathouse with your own credentials. Uh, that works well. But I'm going to use Coach for this video. It comes in, there, there's very there's various places that this will come in and there's many ways to get to your session. Uh, you could go to, if you're looking at the session for today, you could go to today and just click on your session. You could go back to your home. You could go to your, your team. Uh, and let's say I'm Patty. I go to regional, I'll look at my, my sessions. I see I have a session today. Um, I'm just going to edit that one. So a couple things, if you have to cancel the session for any reasons, two things, go to update session. You want to send a message to those that are attending. And so you'll want to do that. And you can also, um, do both here. You want to send a text message and an email and it will, uh, you can put in a message. The session is canceled. I would go ahead and delete the, the boats, uh, but you get the idea. And then the, the other thing is to do in the title, we want you to type uh, canceled and then save so that it's still on the calendar, but it's marked as canceled. So people can see that we don't want you to use this one um, because we want to keep it on the calendar, but I have it marked as canceled, but you do need to send a message to your athletes. But it's beautiful today. We're not going to cancel the session. We're going to update our lineup. Every session already has boats pre-assigned, up to 16 boats. There's eight on each line. They are listed here in order of size of the boats. It starts as singles and goes up to your eights. Uh, if you want other shells, you can look here. And there are, uh, anything that's great is being used for another session or another reservation. Please don't use those because you're going to get there and two people will want to have Grand Pierce. But boats that are not gray or black means they're usually not available, usually being repaired. But uh, a red boat is an advanced boat, a green boat is a novice boat, and a yellow boat is an intermediate boat. But those are available for these sessions. So you could, let's say you wanted to use Reed Howell, uh, you could click on that and bring it into your lineup. But we're not going to do that because we're going to use our, we're going to honor our pre-assigned boats. You can see I returned it. Uh, so I'm going to hide my shells and then here are your athletes. If you do not have this checkbox, hide absent members, you're going to see every athlete on your team. The red ones have not signed up for this session. The, the gray, gray, bleh, gray slash black ones are, but you should hide absent members because these are the athletes you need to vote and you would simply click on the name and click which boat you want them in and which seat you want them in. So there I am assigning Sandy. And then I'm going to assign, um, oops, I had not clicked the name. There you go. And if I want to put them back, I just put them back. Click, click, put them back, put them back. Another important thing is once you have your lineup, you should clear all empty boats. This makes any boat that you haven't had people assigned in back into the shell inventory. So they, they would show up back in here um, and someone could reserve or another session could use it. If you do that and want to bring a couple of boats over just for, you know, flexibility um, because you know there might be someone missing, go ahead and do that and look over here and bring a boat back if you need to. That is perfectly fine. So that's about it for lineups. Um, if you need, if you have a Great big session, you need more than 16 boats. Boy, I really don't think you'd need more than 16 boats, but you can add a third line. Uh, you actually have to go to update session and there's a toggle there to add a third line. So hopefully you won't need more than 16 boats for your one session, but you never know. Um, the other thing is there's a new thing called launch assignments. We do want to start using this. 
So if you know you have a, a launch that you want to use, you could come in here. Patty, I know you usually use this launch number one. Um, we have the bows now spray painted different colors. Um, so Patty, you're going to go ahead and sign yourself to the green number one launch and you want to assign launch. Um, the last thing to do uh, is once you're done and you're off the water, you should log your Ks. The easiest way is um, many of the screens have uh, are on today. You go to on the water log and right here you'll see where you can put in your Ks. So you could put in how much uh, your session rode, 12K, whatever, and save that. If you want to put a note, you could do that as well. Um, the other thing to show you, one, one thing that's good about those launches is when the lineups are done, this screen, never mind, I'm not, no, the, this screen would usually show the lineups. I can see no lineups are set yet for today, but all the lineups show here. And it also shows the launch assignments right here. So your team will know what launch to set up for Patty. So that's kind of cool too. So that's about it. Uh, sorry to ramble a little bit. If you have any questions, please get a hold of me, Commodore at MinneapolisRowing.com. Happy to take your suggestions or try to answer your questions. Thanks.